at the Zoo High Air Show 2024. AVIC presented the J-20S, a new dual-seat variant of China's fifth-generation stealth fighter jet, the J-20. As the world's first officially revealed two-seat stealth fighter, the J-20S highlights China's development in stealth technology for complex combat applications. This model is designed to enhance combat mission versatility, leveraging a rear seat for additional roles such as electronic suppression, tactical command, and control over swarms of unmanned aerial vehicles. According to AVIC representatives, the J-20S's expanded capabilities aim to enable more coordinated missions, positioning it as a significant addition to China's aerial fleet. At the AVIC booth, a 1 to 5 scale model of the J-20S was displayed, showcasing its tandem seating configuration and a cockpit noticeably larger than the single seat J-20. The model retains much of the original J-20's aerodynamic structure, with minor adjustments to the nose and fuselage to accommodate the dual seat design. The J-20S, independently developed by China, is described as a medium-to-long-range, heavy, multi-role stealth fighter, built for both air dominance and precision strikes against ground and sea targets. Enhanced situational awareness, electronic jamming, and command capabilities allow the J-20S to coordinate with manned and unmanned aerial vehicles, expanding its operational scope. The J-20S made its first public appearance at the Zhuhai Air Show 2024. After speculation over its existence since it was first observed in a promotional video in 2021, subsequent images surfaced in 2022, hinting at a dual-seat version capable of controlling unmanned wingman aircraft. This model can operate both as a trainer to expedite J-20 pilot readiness and as a tactical platform where the rear seat operator may focus on complex mission roles such as coordinating unmanned wingmen like the Hongdu G-11 or providing airborne early warning and control. In this configuration, the rear seat allows a second operator to assist with sensor management and tactical decision making thereby reducing the pilot's workload in high-intensity operations. The J-20S's potential role includes acting as a tactical node within China's Loyal Wingman program, through which the rear seat operator could direct multiple UAVs in reconnaissance, surveillance, interference, or strike operations. Equipped with the PL-15E and PL-10E missiles, it is designed for a range of tasks, including ground strikes and controlling drone operations from the air. Some sources suggest that once operational, the J-20S could bring changes to training exercises and air combat tactics within the People's Liberation Army Air Force, adapting to networked and data-driven battlefield conditions. Notably, the J-20S is thought to be the first fifth-generation two-seat fighter officially unveiled, positioning it as a distinctive asset within China's evolving Air Force strategy. The J-20S's development has also involved speculation about future engine upgrades. Currently, the J-20 operates with the WS-10B engine but the heavier J-20S model might require the Dewey's 15 to fully meet performance standards, given the added weight and mission demands of a two-seat configuration. Reports indicate that the J-20S's mission profiles could eventually encompass tasks traditionally performed by early warning aircraft, relying on its data sharing and networking capabilities to act as a localized command center for air and ground assets. The J-20S aligns with China's continued investment in coordinated air combat systems, particularly as it coincides with the 75th anniversary of the PLAAF, where 36 types of equipment, including various advanced fighters, were displayed. 
This event underscores China's expansion of the Four Musketeers fighter lineup, which now includes the J-10C, J-16, J-20, and the newly showcased J-35A. As part of this broader aviation strategy, the J-20S, along with the J-35A, marks China's capability to field an increasingly varied and technically sophisticated fighter fleet that supports China's focus on networked aerial and tactical capabilities in contested environments.